All right, guys, quick Jeep project. It's freezing cold. These seats suck. TJ seats are going in. These brackets are coming out. I'm using the bases. I'm making new uprights. I'm using the TJ sliders. I'm mounting the seats. So in my driveway, this is not the flat earth. The angle, well, it said 5.1. Oh, because I'm leaning on it. It said 5.1. There it is. So that is the degree, obviously, that the top plate's sitting at. I'm going to try and use this piece. I don't know how that's going to work just yet because I'm not using this piece. So if I, I may have to use this top piece and just re-drill it or add some angle to it or something like that because I really want to use this. So the seat flips forward and I'll just use bolts, but I haven't decided on that yet. But anyway, that's where we're starting from to be continued. All right, here's the YJ seat out of the Jeep. See the shape of the bracket? That one's straight on the floor. That one has the crazy angle curves. And obviously, the TJ brackets do not match. That'd be cool because the, the whole seat flips forward, which would be fantastic. Here's the bottom of the TJ seat. And that is the slider. I'm undecided if I'm using that or not. I think without it, I had to drop this about three inches. So with it, I'm going to have to drop it four inches. I just don't know if there's that much room to play with. Let's find out right now. So this would have to come down straight down four inches. So that'd be like pretty much the top touching the bottom and welding it together and calling it a day. So that'd be... Kind of ridiculous. How tall is this? See how tall this mount is? Yeah, it would have to come down exactly four inches. And here are the measurements from my dash. So I probably won't use the slider, to be honest. I mean, it's not really necessary. I'll just put the seats where they are now in the Jeep. Because I don't see it ever needing to come forward. The only reason I would do this is if... Somebody else had to drive it or buy it, I guess, to keep it universal. Maybe I will try and use them. So four in the front straight down would be into the seat. So that's not even possible. It can't even be done. That can be done. That can't be done. Okay, so can three be done? Three can be done. Shit. Okay, so I guess no slider it is, which sucks. Well, let me try. I'm going to go put the seat in there and see what happens. I have some two by fours over here. So I'll prop this thing up and see what I can do. I'll be right back. Okay, so with the TJ roll bar being in here and the seat belt, seat belt mounting where it mounts, I might have to get some TJ seat belts. I don't know if the base is more narrow. It's hitting the seat. I can't move the seat back any further. And you see, you can't really tell, but the seat's up a lot further. Let me see what the measurement was. So it was 30 from the dash to the, uh, seat crack. So let's see where we're at right now. about there okay we're at 30 so that's actually not bad okay wait a minute and it was five and a half from the seat to the steering wheel so we're about dead on exactly where the other seat was okay so this might work right where it is let me see if i can get in the only problem will be being able to get to that bolt to bolt that side of the bracket down uh -oh. but let me see let me see all right hang on a sec this thing's putting up a fight now i'll do it like this here's to hoping it works there we go okay getting in
It's actually almost the same. It's a little farther forward. I can tell it's further forward. But it's not. I mean, the door's shut. I'm driving like normal. So it's actually almost just as good. That's about perfect, actually. Huh. Okay. So that's using two by fours as spacers. All right, so let me do a couple more things to measure and uh, I'll get back with you. Okay, change of plans. I'm not hacking these up because I'm not 100% sure it's going to work the way I want it to work if I do. You know what I mean? I really don't want to cut these off and then not have anything. I mean, I guess I could cut this rivet off and use a bolt if necessary. I suppose that could work. It's kind of ghetto, but maybe I will do that actually, now that I'm thinking about it. That way I can retain this piece too. Yeah, I think I might do that. And if I have to, I'll go get bolts. All right. I'm cutting these off. There we go. The plan is in full motion. All right, let me go ahead and do that. I was gonna make the brackets out of this, but it's unnecessary. I'm just gonna do that, and if I have to, I'll put bolts on it. All right, be right back. All right, guys, got the brackets separated. I'll show you what holds it together. It's not what I expected. I thought it was just little rivets. Look how big that hole is. There's my finger for a reference point. This is the size that I thought it would be. Anyway, seat's got to come down about an inch in the back, but other than that, that's about dead on where it's going to be. It's almost perfect. So let me show you what the rivets look like that held it together. Here's the old seat. These are going to be for sale as soon as I'm done with this project. If anyone needs uh, YJ or CJ seats. Where'd they go? Oh. These are what they look like. So they have a spacer. This is about an inch. Here, I'll tell you exactly how big it is. Just about an inch. Right there. So this is probably three quarters. Yep, almost dead on. Three quarters. Now, worst case scenario, I buy some washers. I buy some bolts. Looks like about a half inch bolt. And I weld the washers on to make the hole the same size. Put a bolt through. Boom. Nut. Done. Seat brackets back together. Everything's fine. It's not my plan. Got the angle cut. These are 16 inch pieces. One and a half. One and a half. Eighth inch. A little thinner than I wanted, but that's okay. This is exactly where I'm going to have the seat positioned. That's how it is in the Jeep. So, so far I've marked where I need to drill the holes. So far. Well, I put the mark where it is. I'm going to square them with the square or whatever that's called carpenter square i don't know what that's called whatever it is doesn't matter and boom hit it with the press get that done get these done and then it's just a matter of taking this quarter inch plate and making little brackets but that's the easy part because it's just going to go like this going to go from there a little bit longer obviously to the uh angle iron and boom it's done i'll put a cross brace in haven't figured out how yet um i could do a bar like the tj has on the seat, original seat brackets there's a bar between the two pieces but i probably won't i'll probably do the same thing that the yj has i was going to get a the toughy under seat storage box I um, have a Glock 21, and I just did my concealed carry class, so that'll be in here, but it's not going to fit. The box is too small for the holster and the handle and all, so I'm doing a toughy console so I can make this whatever bracing I need. It's not going to flip forward, obviously. If I could make it flip forward, that'd be freaking sweet, but that's not going to happen. 
not enough to make it worth going through all the extra effort anyway. I mean, you figure from there to there. Actually, you know what? That might might be worth it. I don't know. I'll have to play with it and see. Um, but yeah, so there we are. That's where we're at so far. Ford's going back. Almost done with this. So to be continued. All right, got the holes measured <clears throat> and center punched on this bracket. Got to do them on that bracket. I'm just centering them on the plate because <clears throat> I can pretty much move it wherever I want. Um, then I'm going to drill them all out and then cut the uprights and I'm done. <clears throat> Super easy. Just time consuming. So let me go ahead and mark that off and we will be back.